In December last year, Honda built its 100 millionth car. While the CRV retained its title as the world's best selling SUV, the 4.7 million models that rolled off the manufacturer's various production lines in 2016, 620,000 bear the Civic badge. Now in its 10th generation, the family hatchback has come a long way since it first launched in 1972. Each incarnation of the Civic has seen region specific variations come and go, without any real cohesion between what you buy here and what sells in showrooms across America or elsewhere. For this latest version though, Honda has pooled resources for what it calls the first truly global Civic. One third of Honda's R&D budget has gone into this very car, to create a vehicle that the project leader calls solid, sleek and fun to drive. Built in Swindon and tested throughout Europe, the new Honda Civic gets a completely new platform, new engines and new transmissions. There is loads of new technology while the Japanese design body pulls it in line with the brand's latest HRV and Jazz models. With no diesel engine available from launch, there's a choice of 1 litre and 1.5 litre petrol engines. It's the bigger engine we've got here, but 70% of buyers are expected to go for the 1 litre turbo. There is of course a powerful Type R version on the way, whilst the diesel will join the range later on. It's that 1 litre that will appeal to most. SE cars emit 110 grams per kilometre of CO2, but upgrade to the bigger wheels of our SR car and those numbers jump to 117 grams per kilometre. Peugeot 308 PureTech 130 is more frugal though and emits only 107 grams per kilometre in high selling allure trim. On the road this new Civic is barely recognisable from its predecessor. There's new multi-link rear suspension which means body control is good and on longer journeys high speed comfort is also excellent. The steering while not brimming with feel is consistently weighted and nicely direct. Grip is good too and body control is really good. The short throw gear shift is really nice too. The smaller 1 litre engine is a gem. With 127 horsepower, it's one of the more powerful three cylinder offerings in its class. It shows its worth with punchy acceleration and impressive refinement. Our car suffered more in terms of wind and road noise though, with noticeable roar from its 17 inch wheels. Like before, the Civic should prove practical enough for young families. There's a 478 litre boot, which is almost 100 litres bigger than a Volkswagen Golf. Space in the back is fine, headroom's a little bit cramped because of the sloping roof but knee room's excellent and there's plenty of room for adults. Standard equipment is good, with our mid-range SR getting dual zone climate control, auto lights and wipers and those 17 inch wheels as standard. It also benefits from a bigger screen as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The infotainment system still trails its VW Group rivals in terms of functionality and usability, but there are myriad features to keep you entertained. Honda could have revolutionised this new Civic simply by fitting a fresh set of engines but instead, by basing it on a new, highly rigid and lightweight platform, the Civic you see here is barely recognisable from its predecessor. The 10th generation Civic finally has what it takes to rival the best cars in its class. To watch a review of one of the Civic's newest rivals, the Hyundai i30, click the window on the left. Or to watch a drag race between the outgoing Civic Type R and the hybrid NSX, click the window on the right. Click the play icon for our latest video and on our logo to subscribe.